What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over the market. We're going to go over some MT methods, some investments I've done. And yeah, we're going to show you how much MT we made pretty much. Um, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes, bro. We're 100 and seven subs away from a uh 8k so if we if you smash that sub button we're doing a huge giveaway on twitter for 100k mt so make sure to follow me on twitter as well i'm also buying and selling mt on twitter so hit me up for that also doing that giveaway so make sure to smash that sub button for the giveaway probably on sunday if we do hit that goal of 8k and also, man, uh, make sure to hit me up on Twitter. Whatever you want to do, I'll rate your teams, whatever. Just hit me up on Twitter, follow me, whatever. We're getting closer to 1,000 uh, followers on Twitter as well. So that would be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, man, let's get into the video. So uh, if you guys do not know, I was investing in the Spotlight Sim Filter and some diamonds. And I'm going to show you why this filter was so deadly. Because if you guys do know, the market has crashed. And I was sitting on this filter for a while. I was getting all those cards you saw, that's a snipe, for uh, 10k, 10k and under, I got a ton of them for 10k and under, if you guys want, I'm picking up Tony Snells for that price, because he's going to go up in value, bro, whether he's out of pack sooner or later, that card's really good, I say he goes up to 15k, these spotlight sims, bro, they hold their value, these cards are gone in three days, which I believe is Tuesday, so we're gonna see bro um all these cards hold their value like no one's gonna really pop these packs i would recommend selling most of your cards sunday but then again bro the grace and allen the cody zellers they're all out of packs they're all going like i got a ton of grace announced for around 11 12k he's going for like 18 so i picked up thousands and thousands like thousands of mt worth of these like probably hundreds of thousands of mt and honestly you're gonna make a ton of money off these investments so if you guys want i would hop on that filter uh, that filter is really, really good. So now let's talk about some pricing and whatnot. Um, so honestly, markets still crash, but a lot, honestly, a lot of people did go up in value, especially Przingis. Przingis went up. Magic Johnson actually is down. So like, it's weird. Some cards are down. Some cards are up. Magic's down a lot. He was around 300K. He's at 250 now. Luka was at 200K base, 180K. I don't know how, because that card is deadly. Like I splash. I agree with him every time. His fadeaway jumper is money. His trail cheese is money. I don't know how he's so cheap, but this is probably your time to get Luka, bro. It's a prime Luka Doncic, bro. This card's going to go up. The prime player, the set player, is going to be the best player in the game. It's going to be like an Opal times two. So if you guys want, pick up Luka. It's probably a good time to do so. Um, so Magic Johnson at 250. Bull Bulls around the same price. Bird went up so much. Bird was like sitting around 220 for majority of the day. He went up. Some cards are still really cheap, though. Like, the market still crashed, but some Opals are going up. So let's look at Pink Diamonds. Let's look at my boy Dino Raja. Um, Dino Raja, in my opinion, is still one of the top centers. In my opinion, he's probably top seven center. I'm never going to get rid of him. He literally plays like Giannis. I run him at power forward for me. He plays amazing, bro. I'm telling you, he's an Opal, bro. Straight up, if you don't think he's an Opal, you're crazy. He's goaded. He actually went up a little bit. If you want to try sniping him out, that's a good idea. Then again, bro, prime packs are out. So his price did go up in value a little bit. He was around 28K. He's rocking around 37. So 36, 37. So if you did stack up on Dinos, you're going to dub out making about 4K per piece after reduction. So if you listen to my some of my methods, they're already turning out to be pretty deadly. Um, also, man, all your cards, bro. Do not ask me, should I sell this? Should I sell that? I'm just going to tell you straight up um sell your cards tomorrow bro it's gonna be like last call sunday bro um because monday monday we probably have something coming maybe a kobe maybe we have a kobe locker code coming they're gonna give us kobe in some type of form because i heard they got the rights ronnie 2k said some stuff about it too i would be crazed if they don't drop kobe sooner or later and if they drop kobe it's either gonna be a locker code or it's gonna be something crazy where they can make bank 
But honestly, if they don't if they don't make it a locker code, they're gonna get so much hate. Like so so much hate. So it's completely up to them. I hope they drop a locker code, but I also kinda hope they drop him in packs because then I have a chance of pulling him and making millions of MT. But anyways, um, so Lonzo Ball, I feel like is due. He's gonna be a buyout. I feel like within the next couple weeks, because if you see a Galaxy Opal around 150 within their first drop, it usually just keeps going down on from there. Also, there's so many up on the auction. Not only that, bro, you probably snipe him out within the next, like within 20 minutes. I would say, like you're saying, not one person is gonna throw him up for 100k quick and make that MT. Like I honestly, if I pulled him. And I saw he was going for 130. I would probably throw him up for 100K, bro. I don't really want to wait the four hours for the extra 20K, bro. The, the reduction is ridiculous, bro. So, anyways, bro. Right now, what you should be doing, simply, I would just say sitting on the diamond filter, sitting on any filter. Uh, the Mo Bamba filter is so deadly, bro. If you guys aren't on that filter, you can make mad MT off of it in seconds. So, I'm going to show you that filter. It's simple, bro. Mo Bama Amethyst first off is so good. I actually running him in my God Squad. He's a freaking beast, bro. I don't know why he's so good. But yo, these cards be popping up every single second, and it's still a sick MT method. Like, I don't know, bro. This Mo Bamba is good. He's a freaking hype beast card. First off, he's in a song, bro. The Mo Bamba song is still freaking huge. So if people see Mo Bamba Ami going for this cheap, bro, it's crazy. Like, this is a complete hype beast card, bro. This is one of the most high beast cards, and there's gonna be snipes up popping like crazy. So it's like right. Oh, I missed that. Oh no, 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 no. Go back, go back. Missed it, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's definitely gonna be competition on this filter though. Since I did release it yesterday, a lot of competition. Not only that, people do know about the Ami filter. So if you want, you could ditch this filter. But honestly, no. I want the competition, bro. This filter is gonna be really good. You could probably make a thousand per piece, bro. A thousand MT probably every minute. Um, you could get some for 3k, you get some for 2k, you get some for 1k, bro. It's just a matter of how fast you are at sniping. So that filter's really good. Ray Allen filter's really good. People were saying this Ray Allen is, like, as good as the Prime. I don't see it. Um, honestly, I think the Prime is not worth it. If you really want to do that set, you're just insane, bro. That, that set's trash. Um, the Tim Duncan's not usable. The Tracy McGrady's the only really usable card. Right there, give me that. Oh, I missed it. So... As you can see, man, the Ray Allen filter is going to be hot. I just missed one for 5K. There's one for 65. He's going for around 7. If you want to invest, I would... I don't know, man. At this point in the game, it's kind of hard to tell if it's worth investing or not. Because everything that drops just drops, bro. It just continues to crash. If you want to invest, take the risk on Ray. If you can invest them for 65 and under, that's a good investment. You probably could go up to 8 to 9. Um, hmm, Let me think. Oh, that's a good one. I got that one. So that's a pretty good snipe right there. I can make a 1,000 MT clean if I sell them for 7K. Um, that's not bad. I will take that all day. Ray Allen Filter is going to be good. I might invest in it. I'm not totally sure what I want to do with this card. We shall see. Um, also, some card that I want to talk about is Michael Red because this guy is so good for me. I was playing Unlimited last night. He's freaking amazing, bro. I can't believe how good this card is. His jump shot fading to the right side is a green bro try it out i'm telling you also bro brandon roy and michael red are my favorite shooting guards and tracy obviously but yo i'm telling you right now if you know how to play this game you know the trail cheese these cards are absolutely key and i think red's value does go up a lot um i think his price for 40k is like a steal like this card is so freaking good and i think you could snipe out a ton of him I sniped out mine for around 40k i sniped out a couple for around 30k i've been working the market a lot as of recent not really on opals bro the opal filters in my opinion have been dead and it's really not worth your time like i sat on a couple opal filters for like 30 45 minutes to an hour and they're just not worth it bro i sat on center opal for literally an hour didn't see anything i don't know if you guys had better luck but yo if you think about it center opal if you do get a snipe on center opal you're literally rich bro there's so many centers that are going for big money if you snipe out a shack you're an empty millionaire so if you want to take your time on the Opal Center, it's not a bad idea, bro. You can make a minimum of 60,000 MT per per player. If you get Bo Bo, 100K. You get Kareem, 300K made. It's like, there's just a lot, bro. So if you want, this is probably the best Opal filter around money-wise, stat-wise. There's also Atlantic. But, yo, it's really completely up to you if you want to sell these filters. My opinion, I'm totally not with it. It's going to take way too long to snipe. But, yeah, that's really all I got for the video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content because, bro, we're really close to AK. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.